Shalom. Start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of the great millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing the word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Um, today, as you can see, the title says Jake takes nothing serious, man. Jake takes nothing serious. And I had got the title for this video through the spirit. Uh, yeah, uh, on Saturday, there is a boxing match by this guy, Anthony Durrell and David Benavidez. And basically, you know, this dude, Durrell, let me see. I, I had it pulled up. Let's just go ahead and go to it. Because th this dude, Durrell, was basically, this is, a, this is first of all, this is a championship fight, man. So you're supposed to, you know, take this shit as serious as possible, man. You know, you're supposed to put your blood, sweat, and tears. You're not supposed to be goofing off. Trying to taunt your opponent, bullshit, and, and that that's what he was doing, man. He wasn't taking it serious. And then this this is what ended up happening to him because basically he wasn't on point. Because he was thinking like this is the cakewalk, because he was thinking like, oh, you know, this ain't nothing, I got this in the bag. Okay. Now let's <laughs> He's gonna let the fight go on. He got his whole shit cut open, man. And that ended up basically causing him to lose the fight, man, because he was bullshitting. He wasn't taking it serious. You know, he he didn't have that, oh, this is a championship fight. You know, I'm a I'm 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 gonna do all I can to win. No, he was like he was bullshitting the whole time, man. But you know, to bring it to a spiritual aspect, that's that's what's gonna happen to Jake, man. Jake thinks that we're out there playing when we out there on the highways and byways, man. That we out that we out there on the highways and byways for fun, man. We not we not doing this for fun, man. You know, we we doing this because this is our job. This is what we commanded to do. This is what needs to be done, man. You need prophets to warn the people, man. Because the times that are coming, man, it, nope. If you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, you're not gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it, man. You know that's that that's why we get on Jake to get out get out they fucking folly, man. But they not, they they don't take it serious. You know, and and, and after that nigga Anthony Durrell got cut on his eye, that's when he started to take it serious. That's when he started to really start to fight and shit. But it was too late. It was too late. You should have been doing that in the beginning, man. And that's what's going to happen to Jake. When, when, when niggas start getting gunned down in the streets, that's when they're going to want to get serious about the Lord, man. That's when, that's when they're going to inquire about the truth. But the same thing that happened to Anthony Durrell, the same thing's going to happen to you niggas, man. It's going to be too late. You niggas is late to the party once, once, once martial law, our RFID microchip comes mandatory, man. Y'all going to be assed out. You know, and, and we not going to feel one lick of remorse or sorrow for you niggas, man. Because you did it to yourself. Because you had plenty of opportunity to come back. But let's just go ahead and go into the scriptures, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me. Even unto this very day, man. So y'all been rebelling against the Heavenly Father for thousands of years, man. Even unto this very day, man. Let's just... For edification. Let's just get the word to rebellious. Right? It's just showing a desire to resist authority, control, or convention, man. A desire to... To go off, man. A desire to do the things that you're not supposed to do, man. A desire to eat pork. A desire to commit adultery. A desire to eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. A desire to, to be idolatrous. Murderous. Covetous. You know? <laughs> Engaged in opposition or armed resistance to an established... Nah, that's different. 
You know, but hey, I, I like that first one, man. Showing a desire to resist authority, control, or convention, man. And that's Jake. That is our people. Verse 4. <clears throat> Ezekiel 2, verse 4. For they are imp they are imputed children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee to them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahabashim Yahshai, and whether they hear, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. So the Most High was already, he was already planning on these niggas to uh to forbear, man. He was he was already planning planning on these niggas to to fan off the word, to to not take it serious, man. You know, yet shall they know that there is a prophet among them? Exactly, man. So what if they, you know, what if they think we serious or not, man? They gonna know that there was there was uh, men warning them, man. You know, all all the cities that brothers uh, are set up camps at, man. You we're basically marking and condemning these people, man, because you you can't avoid Israelites, man. If if you in a major city in Babylon the Great and different countries, man, you gonna you gonna see some Israelites, man. And then what if you hear or forbear? You're gonna know that there's a prophet among you, man. Fucking stupid niggas, man. Ezekiel 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak to and speak one to another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you. Hear what is the word that cometh from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. So you know they they might they might come out and hear the word. They might stop by. They might they might watch the videos or something, man. But it says, and they came unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness, man. So they're going to tell you, oh, y'all y'all brothers doing the right thing, man. Oh, y'all right. You right. I do need to get right. You know? Oh, you know. You know you know how Jake is, man. We we see it all the time. People who come up with that, with that fake love. With that fake sincerity, man. You know? With, with their with they, uh, with they words, they show much love. But they mind. They, they think about going home and... Smoking a blunt and a black and mild, man. In their mind, they think about uh going to pop his brother's wife, man. Committing adultery. He thinking about where can I get the best bacon burger once I leave this, you know? Verse 32. And, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear the thy words, but they do them not. They think it's entertainment, man. They think this is a fuck a fucking game, man. This this is not a game. This is not entertainment, man. We're not on the highways and byways. We're not pushing videos to become YouTube stars, man. To become worldly celebrities, man. We're doing what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahsha commanded us to do, man, and we're doing His work. Lord willing, we continue to endure, and continue doing the work, man. You know, because we, like I said, we're not on here for YouTube views, man. We're trying to wake up the hopeful elect. We're trying to get the fuck out of here, man. We're not trying to yell. We're not trying to yell at people on purpose just so uh, you niggas could have something to laugh at, man. Now, if the spirit, if the spirit is on us to cuss somebody out, we gonna do that, man. But we not looking to cuss everybody who walked past out, man. And that, and that's why niggas watch watch the videos, man. Niggas watch the videos. They they might skip the breakdowns. They might skip all the edifying stuff, but they go right to the part where we where we cussing out a nigga woman. They go right to the part where we call him the white man a devil, man. But what about all the all the jewels that we dropped beforehand for like an hour? They don't they don't want to see that, man. You know, a good example, man. Go on like go, go on a um, you know, 
a, a larger camps videos like Dallas or San Francisco or Chicago, even New York camp. Go go through their videos and you see or their camp videos and you see the the ones that have the most views are the ones when they uh so called cutting somebody or they're they're dialoguing with somebody man. People want to see that. People want to see drama. But when their brothers is chill, just going through the scriptures, prophesying, they don't want to see that, man. You, you niggas, like, hey, like Anthony Durrell, you, you, you're not going to start taking it serious till bodies start dropping. And by then it's too late, man. The doors of repentance is closed. You're going to be dung on the street, man. And when this cometh to pass, then shall they know that the prophet had been, been among them, man. Y'all, y'all are going to know, man. Exodus chapter 16, verse 2. And the whole congregation. Oh, wait, wait. There's some background information. This is when Moses had brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, man. And the Lord showed his, his wondrous signs showing that, that he was dealing with them, man. But this, this, is what, this is what the niggas had to say. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to Yahweh we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots and when we did eat bread to the full? For he had brought us into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger, man. It's a lot. After, after all that, man, after all the Lord had done for the children of Israel, to get to get them out of there to get them out of captivity man because before this they were serving hard bondage and slavery man they was getting their ass whooped they was killing every male of their nation man and these niggas basically said we want to go back these niggas said you brought us out here to die the man you was catching hell man you was in slavery man and you want to go back to that shit because you scared to have faith in the Lord because you scared to trust in your Bashem Yahusha to feed you, to thirst, to give you a drink, to clothe you, to preserve you, man. Jake, Jake didn't take that serious. Jake was like, man, you know, yeah, oh, the whole leaving Egypt sounded tight. You know, it sounded cool. Up until they got to the wilderness, that that's when Jake want to start bitching and complaining, man. You know, but this this is why, this is why, we can't have niggas on the chariots, man. This is why niggas is not gonna get beamed up, man. Because they gonna be saying, "Oh man, I, I forgot my favorite pair of J's, man. I gotta go back." Oh, Jake Jake gonna try to get their Camaro on the chariot. Jake gonna say, oh, I, I gotta get my rollie. I gotta go back. Oh, I need to know what a uh cheeseburger tastes like one more time before I die, before I get on this chariot. No, see, that's that's nigga shit, man. We not we're not trying to bring anything in this world with us on the chariot, man. The only thing that's gonna be on the chariot is our spirits, man. So you you you, you ain't gonna get draped up and dripped out and decked out to get on a chariot, man. <laughs> Your body's gonna be transformed, but that's a different different lesson, man. But what the point I want to make is that no matter what, no matter what you what good you do for Jake, they're gonna bitch and complain about it, man. You know? But let me uh let me end it off on here, man. This is a good good scripture to end it off on. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty-four. This is talking to Israelites. It says, because I have called and ye have refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And how did the Lord call, man? Through his prophets, man. You know, the prophets are the mouthpiece of the Lord. You know, he puts the spirit on what he wants them to say. And, and that's what it is, man. But these people refuse. They didn't regard the Lord stretching out his hand. He didn't. They didn't regard them giving them an opportunity to come back to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. But ye have set and not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Kind. Same way we was laughing at that nigga Anthony Durrell. 
for bullshitting during a fight and getting cut up. The same way we're going to laugh at you niggas. The same niggas that, that we probably seen at camp. We're going we gonna to see y'all struggling. Running from a martial law troop. Butt ass naked getting shot at. You proud ass women getting raped in the street. We're going to laugh at that shit, man. Niggas getting, getting shot in the head, man. Niggas getting set on fire. Lynching niggas, man. We gonna laugh at all that. And when we say these things, we could actually see them happening, man. Because this devil, he's not gonna show any mercy. Isaiah said they gonna come in as a flood, man. They gonna try to rush you niggas. They gonna try to take as many jakes as they can out, man. But... Y'all, y'all think it's y'all think it's a game, man. Y'all think the Lord, y'all Bashim, y'all Shah, is playing a game with y'all, man. You know, America has made you niggas. Well, Jake has always been docile, but America made you niggas docile to the tenth level, man. To to the point where you think everything is a joke. Everything is not serious, man. Verse 27, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Let's, let's get that word anguish. <laughs> anguish. Hey, really, I never looked this up. Severe mental, severe mental or physical pain or suffering. And it's not going to be no over. You're going to have severe mental and physical pain, man. You're going to be bugging out thinking, oh, shit, it's, it's martial law troops coming at me. I ain't ate in three days. I ain't got no energy. And then here the, here the martial law troops come stabbing you with bayonets, man. Just pop putting holes in you, man. Doing all, all kind of stuff to you, Jakes, man. Distress and anguish is going to come upon you people. Then shall they call upon me. Then they're going to try to remember the name of the Lord. Then all them, all them videos you watch for entertainment, you're going to try to uh, use the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua as a defense, man. But it says, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You hated the knowledge. You hated the truth. You hated the reproof, man. You hated the fear of the Lord. You hated the men telling you to get right, man. You know? And all of that, you're going you're gonna to receive a consequence for that, man. All, all of your rebelliousness, your wickedness. Bad move, Jake. Bad move, man. Because when these, when these things start popping off, that's when you're going to take it serious. But it's going to be too late, man. But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.